let's talk about multiplying by 10. So when we multiply by 10, it's really important to know what is happening to the number that we're multiplying. And what we do when we multiply something times 10 is we make it 10 times bigger. So if we are multiplying 5 times 10, we are going to make that 5 10 times bigger than it is. Now when we make something 10 times bigger, we can imagine a place value chart like I've written here. So you've probably seen a place value chart before. The, this column, this stands for tens and this stands for ones. So let's take a look at what's happening here. We have five ones. When we multiply that five by 10, we make it 10 times bigger. So the five is going to move one column to the right, or sorry, to the left, one column to the left. So this five is going to move over to the tens place. Now we have an empty space in the ones, so we fill that with a zero. And this gives us 50. Now let's try with another one. Let's try with nine times 10. So this nine is nine ones, isn't it? Now when we move, or sorry, when we multiply by 10, we move the nine one place to the left because we're making it 10 times bigger. So the nine is gonna come over to the tens place. Now we have an empty space in the ones, so we'll fill that with a zero and we get 90. Now sometimes, you might have heard that when you multiply by 10, you can just add a zero. And you can when you're multiplying a whole number times 10. So that is something that you can use. However, I just want you to be careful because once you get into older grades and you start multiplying decimals times 10, this just add a zero no longer works. And if you haven't learned decimals yet, don't worry too much about this part. But if you have, you might find this explanation a bit interesting. So if we take 1.5 times 10, can we just add a zero and make it 1.50? No, we can't because 1.50 and 1.5 are the exact same. They have the same value. They, they both have one one and five tenths. So when we start multiplying decimals by zero, we find out that we have to shift everything one place to the left. So 1.5 actually becomes 15 because we're shifting that five over into the ones place and shifting the one to the tens place. So again, if you haven't learned decimals, don't worry about this, but I do just want you to understand why we want to think in terms of place value rather than a trick of just adding a zero. Okay, so let's go through the tens facts. So you can say them with me. 10 times one is 10. 10 times two is 20. 10 times three is 30. 10 times four is 40. 10 times five is 50. 10 times six is 60. 10 times seven is 70. 10 times eight is 80. 10 times nine is 90. And our last one, 10 times 10 is 100. Now I want to give you uh, just a quick challenge because I think you're up for a challenge. Let's draw our place value chart again. This time I'm going to include the hundreds place as well. So here is my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. Oh, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. Okay, so we know that when we multiply a number by 10, we shift the digits one place to the left. So how might this look if I multiplied 17 times 10? So let's start with 17 in our place value chart. That's one 10 and seven ones. When we multiply by 10, what happens? 
Well, this one is going to go to the hundreds place, isn't it? The seven is going to go into the tens place. And then we have a blank space in the ones which we're going to fill with a zero. So we get 170. So you can use this strategy when you multiply any number times 10. Just remember, all the digits shift one place to the left. I hope you enjoyed this strategy and be sure to check back very soon for more multiplication strategy videos. Have a great day.